Good afternoon, folks. Scott here, Watts Way Farms. Welcome to a beautiful Saturday afternoon here on the farm. In today's project, um, it may take several weeks to do this video the way I have it in my head, beginning to end. But what you see over my shoulder here is a series of corral panels, cattle panels, and gate and whatnot. And we're going to try to figure out a better way to work our cattle. Let's see. For those that watched my video from, I don't know, several months ago, maybe close to a year now, when I first got this squeeze chute, saw what could probably only be properly categorized as a tragic comedy on us trying to work uh, a couple of cows ourselves through our new prefert uh, squeeze chute. And since that period of time, I've said I've had my cows just over a year now. Uh, their dexters are smaller. I went with a big squeeze chute thinking that one day we will probably graduate from dexters into probably more traditional large cows. Uh, but the system of working cattle just didn't work. So probably around the exact time, the day, the day after I shot that video where we were working a couple cows in this little setup was when I realized that I needed a better system. And I started researching online, looking at both DIY uh, solutions, prefab solutions, you know, uh, other YouTube videos of systems that are out there. I mean, Prefert, the guys that make this, make a very good cattle handling system that's quite expensive. I ended up finding what I thought what I wanted. It was a few hours north of here, um, uh, basically a farm supply company that pretty much this is all they do uh, and they called it a 50 head of cattle working system i'll put a picture of it right here um and on this system i really thought it was what i wanted it was a it's a bit of investment last december november december is when i first looked at it it was just under five thousand dollars which to me that's a significant investment for here on the farm you've got to sell a lot of holes and halves of beef to make that up and oh uh, but what i liked about it was it was semi portable and that as my farm continues to grow and develop i can move it around and so that's what actually last year what i decided i wanted and then it was just a matter of saving you know the money stashing few bucks here and there aside till I had it and so then I reached out to him and the guy that made this back in March and the price was now like $6,100 plus tax and so you know from went from $4,895 to $61 in March so back to the drawing board uh, scrapping and saving some more money and then last week I reached out to him now and said all right I'm ready to buy guess what price went up again and I did make a slight change to it. Oh, uh, the design, I wanted the 180 sweep instead of the 90, but the system as I looked at last year and then again in March was $7,100 now or 70, it might've been 7,300, I forget exactly, but to get the 180 sweep and the loadout shoot that I wanted now kicked up to 9,100. And you know, what I realized right then and there was, uh, as I save money, the price was going to keep going up, and I just want to get wasn't going to get what I wanted, and I need to work these cows. I have seven spring bull calves that need to be castrated. I've got the one yearling in here from last year that needs to be castrated. All of them need to be wormed, and um, and I got my calves need their first dose of black leg. So. I had to come up with another solution. So I've kind of, for a substantially less investment, basically 10% of a cost of the system, I'm gonna to put together what I think is going to both give me what I need so that I can work the cows, uh, work my cattle without too much trouble and 
probably give me a spot if I need to separate a you know a cow calf pair or a mama or something into an area uh, by herself uh, like a little quarantine area so let me kind of walk you through what I'm gonna do now, I've already started breaking this down but you see these t-posts I had these cattle panel running across there and you know not counting this one at the angle because I just put that there as I was trying to do a little farmer engineering visualization so this panel was here but the thought was we worked the cows into here and we created this little lane right here oh uh, which this is leading across it now but between between these two t-posts was a lane that went right up to the chute and i found it didn't work very well a couple of things that i learned these cattle panels that are here now were not there. It was just this six strand barbed wire. And that will, though it's pretty tight, a calf that wants out will very easily go through that. And then this hay ring, which I had, you know, because I do keep, this was my heifer pin and it was my bull pin. You know, I've got my two, uh, uh, my well steering a bullet little coal bull in here now oh uh, what I found was the cows very quickly did not mind me just running them in circles uh, around that versus going in there so my plan at a very high level and we'll walk through it is I'm gonna surround this whole fence with cattle panels like I've kind of already done I just laid those out just to kind of visualize it that'll hold the calves in I'm gonna move this out so that they can't run around it. I'm gonna put a gate there, and then I'm gonna kinda, of, I'm gonna build a much longer lane with corral, actually heavy duty corral panels, and then another gate, and then kind of a extension uh, into this area a little bit so that we can kind of channel the cows where we wanna go. So let's see how it works. So progress has been made. <clears throat> I've got the cattle panels around three sides basically it's so it's two cattle cattle panels along each side so 32 feet and on this back it's three <clears throat> and about a half of one so what is that about 64 uh, 56 feet sorry and what I did was you know I just attached the panels with normal uh, t-post there and then the t-post wires and what i did was they needed to be connected to each other overlapped them by one square and then i used uh, these hog clips that i got at tractor supply and if you want to try these you look all over for them but you got to go to the veterinary section of tractor supply because that's what they put in hogs noses i'd never do that but i think that's a great use uh for them here holding these panels together and then what I did was just to kind of visualize it for the farmer engineering to come or in a line uh, down all the way so I could kind of see that's the thing and then I laid it out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a gate here here's the gate and then another cattle panel and then here's where it's gonna start my lane up to the chute and that's going to be with the corral panels uh, a little more heavy duty and then on the inside here I'm going to have a four foot gate walk through gate and then another uh, corral panel and on this side I'm going to come off of that t-post there with cattle panels kind of somewhat of an angle up to here so if this makes sense, what I'll do is, it'll be real easy to work the cows into this big pen, and then pretty easy to uh, work them through this gate into this 50, whatever it was, 56 by uh, 32 pen. And then with this here, and I actually may put a gate wheel on this so that it'll swing so much, but then it'll be a matter of just kind of pushing them all into this area. One person stands right here at the end of this. 
And then the only way they go, they got that angle that'll come up through here and then into the chute. You know, I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but uh, uh, I think there's a better chance that it's, it'll work better than what I've done in the past. So um, let's finish putting this together and see how it looks. cows do when you dig a hole and then walk away to go get a shovel to fill it back up after you put a pole in it. He's literally sticking his head down in that hole. Crazy cow.
<clears throat> my DIY catch pin, working chute, cattle working system, whatever you want to call it, is complete. Thought I'd give everyone a little tour. Now, I haven't tried it out yet. So, um, yeah, I don't know. But the thought is, so we've got this big, you know, this big pin that I built. This was my heifer pin. It was my bull pin. And now it's, you know, just holding these two guys over here. One's got a date with freezer camp next month. The other one is just one that is going, needs to be castrated and he'll be one of the first to get to try this out so the thought is getting the herd into here will be easy i mean a bucket of range cubes uh my herd will go anywhere so the thought is i got this fence gate and same thing getting them in here won't be too terribly hard either i mean uh, um again my herd will go anywhere for a bucket of range cubes but and also, you know, so if you got the corral panels over there, it creates this kind of funnel effect. So I'm thinking it should be pretty easy to work them in here. And then once they come in here, this is kind of, you know, I've watched a lot of videos and a lot of other people's uh, pens, and this is kind of like a bud box, but not exact. So I came in with this. I actually probably could use another one of those, uh, these corral panels, and this will move as need be. But the thought is, once you get the herd in here, uh, you can sort them off. And then, you know, this is, unfortunately, I don't think this is a one person system, but you know, one person standing here and the other one kind of push them, I think they'll head in their chute. Now it did, just from personal experience and what I've seen a lot of videos is I know that corners create problems with cows. So this, I don't know if you can tell in this video, but this is an angle. So uh, I angled this and again, I'm using these hog clips to connect uh, these panels together. And so this is at an angle and then it turns and goes into the chute. I put a gate here in case the person uh, you know, working it needed to hurry up and get out and squeeze it or whatever. Uh, they don't have to walk all the way back around. And then this also could double as a some sort of backstop uh, if you have got a couple holes on the ground that. I'll use uh, for that as well. So you got the gates. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work. I do believe it's going to work better than what I had before. Um, I don't think it's going to work perfectly. I mean, ideally, I'll continue since the prices on this, those basically all in one systems keep going up. They're really just a series of these corral panels. I'll just keep adding to uh, this as my budget allows, and then eventually I'll have a complete system. But I think the next thing I'll buy will be a, you know, one of those sweeps. I think the sweeps really make a big difference. But uh, anyway, thanks for staying in as long as you can, as you did, uh, and hope you found something useful. Now the only thing I got left is I do need to position the squeeze chute. Oh, and one thing I was going to mention, so right now, I've just got little pieces of 17 gauge wire holding these up. I put T-post in um, for these, but Lowe's makes a, basically a metal um, zip tie. Um, I'm going to go get a bunch of those and then I'm going to zip tie this thing to these T-posts pretty good and probably zip tie this here as well. So that should... Uh, help add some strength to it. So I'm gonna not test this out until I'm ready to film my next video. So we will learn together just exactly how well this thing works. If you saw my first video, when I very first time that I tried to work some cow, a couple of cows through my squeeze chute, it was quite a comedy indeed. And like I said, I don't think I'm to the point of a 
one person working system, but I think this will be a thousand percent better. So stay tuned and we'll find out. Have a good day.